Hi, it's Renee Stanley for Movie Review Relay. And I'm here today to talk about Veronica Mars movie. Just, you won't have to be a Veronica Mars fan though to enjoy this. However, you will fall in love with my daughter, Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell is the star and you might know her most readily from Frozen. She played the, uh, the voice, well she voiced Pres uh, Princess Anne. That character was her voice. But many of you might know her from forgetting Sarah Marshall. Um, years ago, she was so funny. Uh, this is a woman who's not just beautiful, she's sexy, and she's got this great comic uh, timing. Um, you'll love her in that. But to the, uh, with regard to the Veronica Mars movie, I have to tell you that I would see it again, even though I'm not a fan, I've never seen it before. This movie stands alone. You don't have to have seen it, the uh, television series, to, um, to enjoy it. And it begins nine years after the cancellation of the television show. The characters have all moved on. And what's happened is she's moved to New York. She's got this great job. She's got this great boyfriend. She seems to be happy. Everything seems to be going well. And then she hears that her old boyfriend, her former boyfriend, back in Neptune, California, which was a fictional town in the television series, she finds out that he's been accused of murder. So she travels back to Neptune, California from New York. She drops everything to basically solve this murder. And of course, she faces old corruption and her old friends and nemesis that she's had, you know, uh, back in Neptune, California. And that's where the fun begins because she reunites with all of her old cast. Well, not all, but uh, maybe some of her cast members. I have to tell you that I'm not familiar with the cast members, but I have to say I saw the movie with the fan base evidently because whenever a character was there that seemed familiar to them, they would start clapping, clapping. I didn't really know what they were clapping about until I caught on and I said, oh yeah, okay, that's the fan base come. That's the, the big stands, you know, the people who really enjoyed it and the cult following. And you have to admit this has a great cult following because most of you know about the online campaign that was started to have this movie brought to fruition. It wouldn't have happened without the fan base being, um, you know, so strong and so loving toward this character. As you know, they raised millions of dollars within 11 hours. How many of us could raise millions of dollars for any cause? I mean, I even know cancer victims who don't even get that. So yes, they, these people love this movie. And also Kristen Bell, I call her my daughter because she just seems to be such a beautiful person. Even on another note, and I'll let it go because I know you, I'm not her cousin or aunt or anything. I know I, I get it. You know, I know you're going to be like, you know, Renee, cut it out. Okay. But she is, God bless her. She started a campaign with Holly Barry, Ben Affleck's wife, Jennifer. Um, there's a lot of, of, of people who are, um, they have these children um, who they don't want the paparazzi taken advantage of. So she's trying to get these laws passed and help get that past. You know, she's just, she's a wonderful woman anyway, even if she's, she's pretty, but that's just like the icing on the cake. She just seems to be such a wonderful person. So go see it. Veronica Mars, five being the best, uh, one being the poorest, three and a half. You'll really enjoy this movie. And, um, if it comes out in the sequel, you would, probably would see it. I would see it again. It was very good. I enjoyed it. God bless. Until we meet again, Renee Stanley for Movie Review Relay.